Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kyle. Today we are out at an estate sale. It's actually a Friday for me. There's an estate sale in my neighborhood about four or five streets over. It's a gated community and the only people that are allowed to come to these estate sales are the people that live inside of the neighborhood. So I kind of have an advantage there. It's also an older neighborhood. So I tend to find some stuff. Uh, the houses usually have some pretty good stuff inside of them and uh, this will be the second one that I've gone to. The first one I landed some really good items from last week. Hoping that this one right here I find some more good stuff. It's behind me right over here through the woods. You guys can't really see it. Anyway we're gonna walk up there right now and see uh, get in line. I think there's a line forming so we're gonna walk up there get in line and then wait for it to open at 8 o'clock.
Okay, you guys, I'm back home and I wanted to give you all a quick breakdown of what I bought and maybe a little explanation of why I actually bought it, how much I paid for it, how much I think maybe I could sell it for. Pretty good estate sale. Like I said, um, there's not a lot of competition because you have to live in the neighborhood to be able to go. It's a gated community. Anyway, I'm back here at the back of the car. I want to show you guys what I got. Yeah, there is a yo-yo. That's pretty smart. Um couple of things you guys might have seen on the video that I didn't buy I tell you why I didn't buy those but why I showed them and then also uh, to get it started I spent hundred and four dollars even in there we'll flip the camera around Daddy. right here as I was looking through the cast iron Daddy. for eighteen dollars here hold on Hudson I bought a Griswold small block number eight chicken fryer this is chicken fryer so chicken fryer is probably worth about 60 to 80 dollars in the condition that it is if it had the lid with it 120 to 150 if i want to restore it i might be able to get a hundred dollars for it but if you don't want to restore cast iron that piece right there i'll probably get 60 dollars for it so that was a pretty good buy for me next right here you guys saw for 12 dollars this block and so the block here was not all cut co but there are three or four cut codes on there that's why i picked this up that's one right there I think, um, I'm not sure where the other one is. Oh, here's one right here. Another Cutco knife with the uh, really nice handle on them. So even if the full block would have been Cutco, it would have been worth way more money, obviously. It's not, only a couple of knives are. But for $12, I can still flip those knives into some money and then maybe just keep the other knives for myself. Maybe there's a couple of brands in there that are decent. Maybe not, I don't know. But the reason I bought it is because there was two Cutco's in the block. Also, when I was looking through the $1 knife set, I found another Cutco that you guys saw right here. Cutco number 34. Throw some screenshots of that one up there. Always look in the $1 set if you guys are at estate sales. For 50 cents here, Duncan Yo-Yo, 1986, 1986 is what this one says on it, I think. And uh, it's new sealed. Uh, for 50 cents, I think I can get like 10 to $15 for this right here. Nothing huge, but you know, uh, all the sales add up to pay the bills. That's how that works. You guys also saw in the uh, game room there, there was a couple of items that I was looking at. I think they wanted a dollar or two dollars for them. I will go back tomorrow at the end of the day and see if they are still there and they'll be 75% off. I don't think anybody's going to buy them. So then I'll pick them up for pennies on the dollar and then I can also sell those things for 15, uh, 10 to 15 bucks and make some money. In that same room, I did buy the Magic from Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. This old uh, guidebook, I think is what it is right here. I don't exactly know the dates on it but it just looked really cool uh, Disney stuff is you know highly collectible you guys know that it says 1970 right there but I don't know if it's actually from 1970 we'll have to um, do some research on this one just a super cool looking book and the softbacks were one dollar so I couldn't say no to that and then you guys did see the stethoscope is that what that is? A stethoscope? Yeah, a stethoscope. Right here, the Lippmann. It was called a Master Classic 2. They wanted $12 for it. 
new in the box and um it's going for pretty decent money all i did was look that up on the spot right there you guys so it's not that hard to type that in and do a sold search on ebay like i always say now these last two items right here were kind of just um i'm gonna see if i made a good decision or not but i'm gonna tell you guys why i went ahead and picked these up these were $30 each for everything inside. First one here, they're both old painting stuff. And if you guys watch um, Don, the auction professor, he has a really good video on paintbrushes and stuff. All you have to do is look up these brands. You can see what they're selling for. This one right here, I think, was going specifically for... 30 to 40 dollars so i make my money back on this whole thing with just this one brush and then the rest of it will be just all profit so i'm hoping i can do that with both of those boxes make my money back on one paintbrush and then sell the old paint and the other paintbrushes and make a ton of money on them i'm not exactly sure but definitely give you guys a breakdown in a future video thank you guys for watching i'll see y'all next time